Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, in today's quick craft session, we're going to be making these foil embossed um, pictures. So in these sessions, because we're at home and we can't really get out to get our supplies, I'm gonna try and use any um, materials that you guys could find at home, maybe in your kitchen, in the kitchen cupboard, or maybe some bits and pieces that you might have in your craft um, cupboard already. So. The um, materials we're using today are going to be, we're going to use some markers, we're using a scissors, pencil, some string or wool. So these are just little scrap pieces of wool I have, or this is twine. So maybe your mom or dad might have some around the house you could use. And if you don't have that, you could try and use maybe some thread, just a thicker thread if you have it, uh, some tin foil, and just some pieces of card. I've used this recycled brown card, which is nice and stiff and hard to work on, but you could use maybe some old recycled um, cereal boxes or birthday cards or something like that, just anything, because we're gonna be covering it over. It doesn't matter if there's a pattern or a design on the card, it doesn't need to be plain. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is, we're gonna cut out a square of card to work on. Now I'm just using a small piece today, just because it's easier to film with, but you could use a larger piece as well, because if you've lots of time, you'd have lots of time to design and draw out your pattern. Um, so you can go for an abstract design, or you can draw out, maybe I started drawing out a little fish pattern here. So we just trace it out to fit onto the square of card that you have. Um, or you can do something abstract. This is one I made last night, so it's just a circular design. Um, and this one as well is just, an abstract so I just drop the string down and we just let the string fall wherever it did and it gives a nice kind of unusual um, shapes and these are just some some shaped patterns there okay guys so the next step is once you've drawn your pattern onto your card we're going to get started on gluing the string over As you can see guys, I've just outlined the, um, the fish with um, some glue. Now you can also use a print stick either for that. And then I've cut the string and we simply just lay the string on top of the glue. So that gives us our outline for our fish. So guys, our next step is to lay our foil over our piece of work that we've just made. So I would suggest cutting out your piece of foil and leaving a little edge around there, maybe about an inch around. So we just take our glue stick and add a little bit of glue to the foil and then we simply lay the foil over the card. So once we have our foil laid on top we just start very gently pressing the foil down onto the card and you'll start seeing um, your image coming through. And this is the really magical part. Just be gentle with the foil that it doesn't rip and tear. I'm using a little sponge to press it, but you could use a small piece of fabric or even your fingers will press it. And the more detail you have added, as in the more pieces of string you've added in the previous step, the more detail will come through. And then once you've got that finished and pressed through, you just fold your foil around. And we've got a nice a 3D piece of art. So it's rising up a little bit off the page there, as you can see. And the final step is you can add some color to your piece by just gently um, coloring over in between the, the lines where the strings have been placed down.
So these are your final pieces guys. Um, I've also added a little piece of string on the back of this just so you could hang it up. Now you could make a lot of these, you could hang them all together. And as I was saying earlier on, you could make a much bigger one and put a lot of detail into it. That would take you a little bit longer, but it would look really well when it was finished. So thanks for tuning in guys to this 5 Minute Craft and hope to see you soon.